I mean, we're talking about damn near two years at this point, right? Like, do you, do you, do you let yourself get excited now, or do you have to wait until Saturday before you really start feeling it? Uh, you know, I'm getting excited just getting back in here, doing all this stuff. Uh, it's been a long time. I, you know, I had some bumps along the way this last year and a half. So uh, just excited to get back in there, do what I love, man. It's, you know, great to be back in Texas. It's crazy, right, because – there were so many things that happened, right? It wasn't like one thing. It was like all these little things, some your fault, some not. I mean, how have you dealt with this? Has this been a difficult time for you, I guess, like kind of mentally or just in your career, like staying happy, staying focused? Uh, at first it was. I'm not going to lie. It was kind of hard, you know. Obviously, um, that last fight with Chanel, uh, when I missed weight, it was more of my ego. I should I should not have accepted that fight in Houston, I should just give myself a break, uh, you know, going through so many camps and stuff. But my ego, you know, it kind of like, nah, I got to fight. You know, I've been doing all these camps. I got to fight. I should just took a break and stuff. But, you know, you live and you learn and uh, kind of just take it, you know, with a grain of salt. You know, I got to hang out with my son a little bit. Took some time off. Got to hang out with my son and stuff. So life's good. Right. And then you get Pantoja here as an opponent. I mean, certainly still right up at the top of the division, right? I mean, was there any thought of like, well, it's been a while, let's slide back a little bit, maybe kind of ease our way back in the division, or did you want a top contender? Uh, you know, I, Mick Maynard probably gets annoyed at me because every time there's a, a card in Vegas, I text him, hey, I, I'm, I can make 130, 135s, you know, take a short notice fight because I, I want to fight. I don't, it doesn't matter who it is. Uh, I was supposed to fight Asgard, he got hurt, and I – I was like, hey, I still want to fight. Like, they're like, oh, you want to re wait? I'm like, no, I'm not waiting. Like, we're gonna get this fight. It, I don't care who it is. Um, so I was just happy to get back, get back in the, you know, in the groove of things, get a new opponent, and go from there. Even though it's been a long time, I mean, you're still number six in the world, right? You fought for a title. I mean, are you like, are you thinking about where this puts you in terms of rankings? Because I mean, you're still right there at the top. I know there's a lot going on right now at the top of the division, but you're still right there. So are you thinking about that? Uh, not really. I just got to worry about Saturday. I got to worry about Pantoja. You know, he's dangerous everywhere. Uh, not too many guys are wanting to fight him. You know, he's probably one of the tougher guys in the division. Hits hard, good jiu-jitsu, good grappling, uh, good good everywhere, you know. So it comes from a great team. So I'm just happy to be back in there. Dallas sold out, full arena. This is a special moment for you? Uh, yeah, man. It's been a long time since I had fans. You know, the last couple times I fought was in the Apex. Now I got fans. My son's going to be here for the first time. So, uh I'm excited, man. I'm excited. I, he comes in Thursday night, so I'm excited to see him, you know, when I'm cutting weight and stuff, and uh, just something to look forward to. That's awesome. How old is he? He's a year and a half. Yeah, yeah he's a year and a half, and he's a tank. <laughs> I love it. Well, that's it for me. I mean, what's the goal here? Like I said, it's been a long time. I know you're excited just to compete again, but is it just like, hey, let's just get in there and let's just, you know, feel it out and get a win, or is it like, no, we got to go in here, we got to make a statement and show the world, like, we're still relevant in this division? Uh, my goal is to go in there and win, man, collect two checks, you know. Uh, that's the biggest thing for me. If, if I get five of the night, performance of the night, that's just a bonus. But for me, it's go in there, make a statement, get the win, dominate everywhere, and, you know, move on to the next one. Alex over here. Uh, you talked about, like, when you were texting Mick, like you would take these short notice fights at 130, 135. Were those against other flyweights, or were you just like, I'll fight a bantamweight too, I just want to get in there? Uh, anybody. Uh, you know, I tell people all the time, I don't get paid to sit on the couch, I get paid to fight, you know. And uh, you got a short time that you're going to be fighting for. So, you know, I, I, I want to make as much money as possible. So I'm trying to fight every week if I can, you know. Did they ever actually offer you, like, one of those guys? Uh, a couple times uh, they offered it to the other guy. And they're like, oh no, we a uh, different option, you know, and which is cool, you know. I'm just hey, offering my services. I'm I, I want to fight. I want to stay, you know, consistent, uh, especially right now. Just you know, having this long layoff. So yeah, I'm willing to fight whenever I can. Then you mentioned specifically about Pantoja. Not a lot of guys in the division want to fight him, and I think a lot of people assumed he would be involved in maybe an interim title fight before Kai got that knockout over Cody. Uh, do you think it's because like he's he doesn't bring a lot of hype in terms of the promotion, and he is so dangerous that so many people don't want to fight him? I just think because he's dangerous. Uh, I think he brings all the hype in the world. You know, you watch him. How many flyweights can knock someone out with one punch? Um, and uh, I mean, obviously, he's won. The last two, he lost to Asgard, won his last two. He should be in the title picture. Um, you know I mean, but my job isn't matchmaking or promoting. My job is to fight. So I've, they offered me the fight, and I took it. Then who do you think wins in the interim title fight, the top of the card? Uh, I'm not too sure, man. Uh, they both gotten better. Uh, Moreno's been got to a different camp. Kai's gotten a lot better his last couple of fights. You know, you watch against uh, 
you know, Bontarine, right, got got put in a bad position, got out, goes out there, knocks Cody Garbrandt out, and then against Ascar, one of the better grapplers in the division. I mean, he, he, you know, Ascar couldn't take him down, so he obviously he's improved. So it's gonna be a fun fight. Uh, Alex over here. Uh, what do you think of Matt Schnell's fight? I know that you've been booked against him uh, multiple times. It's kind of like Habib versus Tony, but what do you think of his last war? Uh, it, it was good. I mean, sh shit, he can take a punch. <laughs> or an elbow, I guess. Have you been told, you know, if something happens uh, with the main event, like if someone were to miss weight, would you be one to step in and fill in for that? Um, no one's told me anything, but I'm always down, you know. I I got cardio. I can go five rounds. Um, but I'm guessing if anything, it would be Pantoja. He's coming off two wins, but something happens, I'm always willing to step in. And do you think the winner of this fight is going to be the one, the next one after the title? Um, we'll see, man, because there's so much stuff going on at the top. You know, with Davison, not sure if he's going to stay at 25s or go up. Uh, you know, and then obviously his interim titles. There'll be a one fight, and then they got a fight. So it's like what two fights, three fights, basically. Uh, and not knowing how long, usually champions like to take a little bit longer between camps, uh, between fights. So I'm not too sure, but. Uh, I'm willing. I'm willing to fight wherever, whenever. Oh, thank you, guys.